again, Mrs. Miles. So lovely to see you again. I phoned some of you this morning and it's so lovely to speak to you all. I hope you're still doing okay. Now today we're going to be doing a little bit of maths. So I hope that you've all been looking at the online resources which are white rose. And today I was looking, it's about super potato. So today we're going to be looking, following on from Mrs Owen's work last week. Now Mrs Owen was looking at the number seven and today we are going to look at this number here. I bet you all were shouting at the screen there, number eight. Now if you want to go and get a pen and some paper, then we'll have a go at writing some number eights. Okay, so now you've hopefully got your piece of paper, we're going to have a go at forming number eight. Now number eight looks tricky, but actually it's a little bit like a letter that we know really well. It's this one. So we form a S, and then all you do is you join it back up. Let's have one more go. So have a go at a S, and then you join it back up. Now. Following on from White Rose, I'm having a look at potatoes today and down here I have got you eight potatoes. <gasps> oh my goodness, what on earth has happened? I haven't got eight potatoes. But I can see a little clue. You see these little green footprints? Who do you think has been here? Yes, that's right, that evil pea. And he has stolen our potatoes. The only potato I have is one little lonely potato. Let's have a look and see if we can find all eight. If I've got one, how many more would I need to get eight? Have a go. Okay, now I'm going to follow these footprints. I can see a little clue. Let's see if we can find the rest of my potatoes. Follow me this way. Aha! I can see one here. So I know now we've got one and one more makes two potatoes altogether. Now, can you work out how many more do I need to find to make eight? Let's have another look and see if we can find any more potatoes. I can see one hiding. Here it is. So now, how many potatoes have I got? One, count with me, two, three. Hmm, I wonder how many more I need to make eight. I will tell you the answers at the end, but if you have a go by yourself, that would be fantastic. You can use my little split diagram here if you want to. I'm going to have another look, see if I can see any more potatoes. Shout if you can see any. Point to where they are for me because I can't see them all. <gasps> There's one down here on the floor, look. Here's another one. So now I've got one, two, three, four. Hmm, how many more do I need to make eight, I wonder? Can you see any more? <gasps> There's one hiding under the chair. How many have I got now? One, two, three, four, five. Hope you were counting with me. How many more do I need to make eight, I wonder? Or how many more are missing? I can see another one. There it is. Good job I didn't sit down on that, isn't it? There's another one. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six potatoes. How many more do we need to make eight, I wonder? Hmm, there's definitely more than one still missing. Ah, I can see one just there. There it is. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven potatoes. How many more do I need? I hope you're shouting it at me. Hmm, I'll just have a sit down here, see. Oh, oh, I can feel it, I can feel it. It's like the princess and the pea. Oh, there it is. Number eight. Right, now let's clean up this evil peas business and then we'll be able to see if we got the answers right. 
What a mess he's made on the table. Naughty, naughty, evil pea. I wonder if he's caused any problems around your house. Right, that will do. So, we know we've got eight as our whole. Let's just check again. Let's put them in a line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight is our whole. Now, we're going to see if we can split them into two halves. Not two halves, sorry two groups. So we're going to move one potato over. So if I move one there, how many potatoes have I got here? I'm going to write it in my circle. So I've got one here. How many have I got here? Okay, you should have written number seven. So we know one and seven make eight all together. Okay, I'm going to rub that out. one more I'm going to move another potato over so now we've got two over here and how many have we got over here so we've got two and then what would you have written in there write it down okay you should have written two and six so we need two and six makes eight okay let's rub it out And let's move another potato across. So this time I've got three over here. How many have I got here? Three and... Oh, you should have written number five. Sorry, I did that a bit quick. Make sure you pause the video. Next one. Can you guess what my next one is going to be? Write it down if you think you can guess already. So it will be... One, two, three, four, and how many are over here? It would be four and four makes eight all together. Let's have another go. I'm going to move one more across. That would be one, two, three, four, five. How many have I got over here? So I've got five and three make eight. Okay, next one. I'm going to move another one across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and make eight all together. Okay, we're nearly there now. I'm going to move another one across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many? Seven and one make eight. Now you could also have the last one which would be eight over here. Hmm, eight and what makes eight? That's a tricky one. You should have said zero. Okay, now the challenge for you this week is to take that number eight and see if you can split it into as many ways as you can, into two parts, or if you want an extra challenge, have a go at splitting it into three parts. That would be splitting your pile into three, however you want to do it. Okay, have a go. Lovely to see you again, early years. Bye, bye.